everyone today I'm just going to show you this shrug it's this is a very very simple shrug that you can actually do what I've basically done is that I've taken all the old wool that I had you know I had lots of tiny balls of wool that couldn't really make anything with it and I was not going to be able to find the wool anymore because they came from Singapore and Australia and all the various places that I've traveled to and lived and um, I bought wool from um, there was wool from also from Brazil, you know. They've got very nice wool there, by the way. They've got such lovely colors there, you know. And they make these, I think the factories are mainly in Porto Alegre. They've got very nice wool and it's dirt cheap, you know. But then, of course, I can pass off for a Brazilian. So, I'd, I'd go to all these places and uh, buy them where, you know, if I am, you see. So, usually I could pass off for a Brazilian. And I used to go to these places where uh, they're not... To travel there, you have to use the underground and or the bus service or something. So anyway, it was much more easier for me to go to these places where they would sell stuff for carnival and various kinds of um, Brazilian, uh, they, you know, their festivities, you know, they have this wonderful thing they call carnival. During carnival season, they bring in all kinds of sequins and Oh my God, it's like wonderful to go to this place. You know, it's like a potpourri of things. Like, you know, you go nuts if you go there. Like, it's a huge area and it's like a market, you know. As long as I don't open my mouth, nobody will know I'm not really actually Brazilian, you see. And uh, it's um, it's in Sao Paulo, this place, you know. And I, I would go there and I'd buy all these wool and they were so cheap. You know, you could get like, for instance, maybe 1,500 and you'd pay like, maybe about 30 or 40 reais, you know, which is like nothing really if you compare, if you convert it into euro. So anyway, I had all this leftover thread. So what I did was I, I took this loom. See this loom? This is the 40 pack, 41 pack loom, you know. And I made uh, just a single panel, a single panel, meaning I cast on, hang on. Where is that thing? Ah, there. Now, I cast on here. This is the, the marker, you know. I cast on here and then I ended it here on this peg. And then I went, you see, I cast on here on this peg. Then I went, uh, finished it here. That is altogether 41 pegs. And I worked it back and forth and made a single panel of twisted stocking net stitch. I've shown... Uh, in my other videos and all that how to knit on this kind of loom so I'm just going to give you the instructions on how to construct this shrug actually I did this before I was going to actually put it onto my what you could do with uh, looms uh, video but then I don't know how I managed to leave it out you know must have not have seen it lying on my bed anyway so you make a single panel and the single panel the dimensions if you are quite large size you maybe you can do 50 or 54 whereas i found that this 50 and 54 was too large so i made mine about 48 now i have um okay like uh, my chest is around 34 but i am about five feet eight like that you no know? so um but not really I, I wouldn't consider myself very i'd say i'm medium so I think maybe most, if you want a medium size, you should go for 48. Otherwise, it will fall off your shoulder. And what you do is you do a 19 by 48. Now, you look at this pattern. You can see there is a, I've marked it B here and B here, A here and A here. Now, after you've done the panel, the longer part of the panel, you lie flat like that, no? Now, you take this part of the panel and fold it across. You have a fold line like that, no? You fold it across. So, once you fold it, you will get this. See, you folded it both sides like that, you know? You fold it across. Then, you leave a gap of about 6 inches for your sleeve. Your, uh, for your hand to go through, you know. This actually forms a long sleeve, you know. It'll go all the way up to your wrist. So, and then you sew this part up. You just cross the panel like that, you know. Cross it, fold it across like that. And you sew it here. And you leave this gap open for the sleeve. 
do the same on this side and there you have it the hole and here is the stitching and this is the part where it will form part of the front of your of your shrug so when you use it this part here will form the sleeve so this whole area will be your arm and your sleeve and all this part and all that will come at the back and in front but i found after i finished it that it kept on falling off my shoulder you see so now what i've done is that i've decided to add on i'm going to add on maybe about this much and maybe i might work in a buttonhole or put in some kind of fastener so i can fasten it in front now the the trick to doing this piece eh, when you're using all kinds of different different colors eh? see i can show you this now see here the colors are all completely different you know as you can see this one has got some mustard and some apple green then over here it's got a different kind of green you know emerald green and all kinds of different very deep green forest green each part i used different colors you know see here this is also another different shade you know from here now the trick to doing this you know is that you use one central color every other and you change you use one central color which you will know is actually red so i used one central color that was red and every time i change colors i would only change a maximum of two so as you as you go along and you find that your your yarn is finishing you exchange it for another color but you exchange only two so every time there is a constant for a bit so this way as you change it's not so jarring you know it will still have a theme the whole shrug will still have a theme going for it you know and after i after i here i'm doing a um, single crochet i'll be doing a single crochet band you know and putting in fasteners and we'll see how it looks at the end of it so all you got to do to make up the shrug is after you've made this rectangle piece that is 19 19 is the width of the loom huh? by so you work about 48 to 50 here the length of the panel that you're going to work and then you just fold it leave the spaces for the for the hand to go through 6 inches here 6 inches here then you sew up when you cross over this bit will cross over there and you sew the rest of it like i showed you here this is the part that sews and this is the part that is left open i've been told previously that you know, on my poncho instructions that that people couldn't really understand how i made up the poncho so what i've done is i've taken a scarf and made it about how big your panel would be after you have created it okay so here you can see see i'm doing this one handed sorry yeah it's about 19 all right and this way is about 48 so you finish your panel the 19 will be the width of your loom you know when you so you'll get 19 in any case and this will be the amount that you'll have to work now what you need to do is that each corner you take it and fold it here like this so you get a a piece like that and you leave about 6 inches here don't sew it and sew up the rest of it here and do the same for the other side sew up to here and then leave the 6 inch gap all right that i hope that that makes it clear on how to do up the shrug all right see you cross the panel over from here because it's a rectangle actually look at it it's a rectangle okay so you take this part portion of it cross it and then you sew up to here and you leave the 6 inch on both sides also on this side so 6 inches you leave it and you only sew up what's the remainder after subtracting the 6 inches now as for the 
the different colors i think perhaps earlier you couldn't see very clearly as you can see here here there's a lot of mustard and then over here there's gray and there's no longer any mustard here then over here you see there's no mustard here but there's a deep green and over here there's a preponderance of gray and white so each section you will notice that a couple of colors have been changed you see so overall it will still have a homogeneous look to it because you're using one central color which is the red right now i've used four strands eh, to work on the on the round loom i use four different colors each time see they're all four different colors here you see this one you can see here there's a brown a green a red and a gray here and over here there is an apple green i think it was a forest green or something like that a white and don't know what happened oh yeah i, I used a multicolored yarn here that had orange with a bit of red on it you know um and here you will notice is another thing but then there is red here everywhere there's a little bit of red that runs through the whole red or a bit of a brick orange because i used different shades of red also as i worked the whole piece but one central color should be predominant what i meant was that to give continuity that's why you have to use one color you see otherwise the, the, the shrug would look like a mishmash without any any theme to it you know so try and keep one color pick or just just pick one color perhaps you have one color you have more than any of the others use that and then you can join up all the different shades that you want you know you can see here you know as you as you go along here you see there's there's one side here there's like it's one area that's one got a one theme going then another here another type of color then this one kind of repeated a bit of what was here then here you have another uh, set of colors and then here you have another set of colors so you see this is the whole idea behind the shrug you see and um hopefully you can work it it's quite nice you know um i'll but well, once i've done the band for the front i will take a picture of it and um, you'll be able to see what it looks like worn after you've made up the shrug you will have this look you know and what i what i did was i just put um this time i'm only using three strands huh? and um i'm using all the leftover thread that i have this one which one actually is the one that i did the raglan sleeves um, jacket this one is a uh, kind of a foresty green um I don't know what kind of green. Well, it's got all kinds of colors on it actually. It's not just green. It's got a bit of green and and um kind of a brownish, goldish, burnish look to it. And this one is from my other piece, you know, the wrap. I had a leftover mustard. I also have the brown from that one. I'm using this mustard, this this wool to So my red sauce is going to be this one. This one has a bit of red here but when i run out of that i intend to use this one i intend to use this when i run out and um that will include this beige and also this so you can use a combination of colors like you know, as i run off as i run out i will be adding the new color and what i've done is that i just attached the thread here and started out my single crochet single crochet is quite simple i'll be doing maybe about this big you know the front band so that i can close it better so that the shrug will fit better to my body you know now all you need to do is just put it through put it through both huh? so you're putting it through eight strands of thread yarn sorry and then you pull through yarn over and pull through both again go pull one you left two on the hook yarn over and pull through both okay i love this i got this um i think it's pro knit i think i don't really know what what uh, hook it was i think it's pro knit okay go through pull you left two 
knit sorry crochet both off that is single crochet okay and you're using three at a time see as it moves the orangey red shade comes in you see and so you will have that team i told you about having a team and the team comes back you see so all along you must always have one color to give a continuity to the to the piece i i meant to say earlier when i showed you the instructions on doing the band i forgot to mention that you're going to have to do a couple of increases eh? for two rows you increase one stitch that means you you stitch in the same um previous row stitch two stitches you add on for every third stitch for two rows you do this sometimes every fourth stitch you know you just approximately do it until you get a otherwise it will curl round you know it will become a oblong um band it won't uh, form properly and it will um not have give you a nice front you know so what you need to do is a couple of rows you have to expand the stitches so that you can have a more smoother and longer band that comes in front if you use only the stitches that are on the main part of the shrug you will not be able to get the desired look when you finish you know so you must for a couple of rows two rows you have to add on stitches and how much you add on will depend on how you work on it you know as you work you look at the piece i had to take it out maybe three or four times before i got the correct um uh, measurement for the for the number of stitches to add see i can't really help you on that point because i'm not very sure what kind of thread uh, sorry what kind of yarn you'll be using but rule of thumb every third every third stitch like you see here this is um each of this is one stitch you know 1 2 3 so sometimes as you can see here i don't know whether you can see here um here for instance here there you see there are two stitches in one hole so that means i've ex extended it by two stitches here and then here again in the same stitch i've added two you know so for two rows i did it after that i just um used what was the added on stitches as a base for the rest of the rows you only do it two times in two rows after that you don't need to do it anymore to finish off the piece all i did was i used a hook the small tiny hook fastener and then i took two beads and just attached it on both sides okay this is really you can use up all your empty yarn all your sorry your your leftover yarn from all the pieces that you have been making and you can just use this pattern which is a very very simple shrug and um use the single crochet for the band two band so that it doesn't fall off your shoulders and you can have a fastener and so that it will stay on your on your body